Good evening and welcome to evening prayer. As we begin a new week, it is Sunday the 4th of July, and our evening prayer this night is for tomorrow, the 5th, because remember biblical days begin in the evening, evening and morning. In our prayer book, the 4th of July is one of the major red letter days. And so we celebrate Independence Day. And since it is not greater than a Sunday, we transfer it to the 5th, since the 4th is a Sunday. And so tonight at evening prayer and tomorrow at morning prayer, we will celebrate Independence Day and pray for our nation. Thank you for joining us for evening prayer. Please do take a moment to post a greeting, share a comment. You may do so on either the comments on YouTube or the comments on Facebook, let us know that you are here and praying with us. And know how grateful we are for your presence and your prayers among us. We pray evening prayer according to right one of the prayer book. I will bless the Lord who giveth me counsel. My heart teacheth me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not fall. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with the ancient Vesper hymn, the Fos Hilaron. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Now, friends, we continue with the psalm and the readings and canticles for our evening prayers for this night. We begin Psalm 37 tonight. We'll read the first portion of that psalm as it's divided in our prayer book, which is verses 1 through 18, verses 19 through 42, we will read at morning prayer tomorrow morning. And then we read Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verses 1 through 8 and 12 through 18, and James chapter 5, verses, verse 7 through 10. not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong, for they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on its riches. Take delight in the Lord, and he shall give you your heart's desire. 
Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself. It leads only to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked shall be no more, but you shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land, they will delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous, and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord laughs at the wicked, because he sees that their day will come. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who are upright in their ways. Their sword shall go through their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than the great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Ecclesiasticus. A wise magistrate educates his people, and the ruler of an intelligent person is well ordered. As the people's judge is, so are his officials. As the ruler of the city is, so are all its inhabitants. An undisciplined king ruins his people, but a city becomes fit to live in through the understanding of its rulers. The government of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and over it he will raise up the right leader for the time. Human success is in the hand of the Lord, and it is he who confers honor upon the lawgiver. Do not get angry with your neighbor for every injury, and do not resort to acts of insolence. Arrogance is hateful to the Lord and to mortals and justice is outrageous to both. Sovereignty passes from nation to nation on account of injustice and insolence and wealth. The beginning of human pride is to forsake the Lord. The heart has withdrawn from its maker. From the beginning of pride, for the beginning of pride is sin, and the one who clings to it pours out abominations. Therefore the Lord brings upon them unheard of calamities, and destroys them completely. The Lord overthrows the thrones of rulers, and enthrones the lowly in their place. The Lord plucks up the roots of the nations, and plants the humble in their place. The Lord lays waste the lands of the nations, and destroys them to the foundations of the earth. He removes some of them and destroys them, and erases the memory of them from the earth. Pride was not created for human beings, or violent anger for those born of women. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. 
He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Epistle of James. Be patient, therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also must be patient, strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Beloved, do not grumble against one another so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the Nuctimitus, the Song of Simeon. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant part in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Tonight at evening prayer, we only read two readings instead of the normal three, and so we continue now with the profession of our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, friends, as we prepare to enter into the prayers section of our evening prayers, let me remind you that if you have not done so yet, please do take a moment to post a greeting, share a comment, let us know that you are here and praying with us. And let me also remind you that if there is someone on your heart this night for prayers for a healing or prayers for the repose of the newly departed and you suspect that they are not yet on our list for prayers, I encourage you to add their names to the comments either on YouTube or Facebook and know that by doing so you are adding them to the prayers this evening and know that i will review those comments and i will add them to our list for future prayers the lord be with you let us pray our father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. Let us pray. We pray first the collect for the nation. Lord God Almighty, who has made all peoples of the earth for thy glory, to serve thee in freedom and peace. Grant to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with thy gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We pray also the Vesper Collect for Sunday evenings. Lord God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, triumphed over the powers of death and prepared for us our place in the new Jerusalem, grant that we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection may praise thee in that city of which he is the light and where he liveth and reigneth forever and ever. Amen. We pray also the Vesper Collect for peace. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of all enemies may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of jesus christ our savior amen and we pray a collect for mission keep watch dear lord with those who work or watch or weep this night and give thine angels charge over those who sleep Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. Now, friends, we offer our intercessions and thanksgivings. We lift our voices in prayers of praise, holy God. For thou hast lifted us to new life in Jesus Christ, and thy blessings come in generous measure. Especially we thank thee for the privilege of worship and service in our congregations. The good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ for us. Food and drink to share in the Lord's name. our calling to discipleship. We hold up before you human needs, God of compassion, for thou hast come to us in Jesus Christ and shared our life, so we may share his resurrection. Especially we pray for the healing of those who are sick, the comfort of the dying, the renewal of those who despair, the Spirit's power in the church.
We pray this evening also for those who have been commended to us for our prayers for our healing in body, soul, mind, and spirit. We pray for all who are in need of such healing. We pray especially for our brothers and sisters, the servants of God, Abigail, Addie, Adelaide, Antoinette, Betty, Bill, Birgit, Bob, Brian M., Brian S., Bruce, Carone, Carrie, Charlie, Charlotte, Chris, Connie, Dan, Darlene N., Darlene R., David D., David M., Deborah, Dennis, Dom, Don, Donna, Ed, Eric, Aaron, Florence, Francis, Frank A., Frank B., Gary, Jean, George P., George W., Glenn, Helen, Yorworth, James, Jaina, Jeannie, Jeff, Jen, Jessica, Jim B., Jim F., Jim G., Jim L., Jim M., Joan, Joanna, Joanne K., Joanne R., Joey, John B., John H., John N., Father John W., Joseph, Judy, Julie, Karen, Kathy, Kevin, Kim, Kaya, Laura, Lena, Leonard, Leroy, Lexi, Linda, Lisa, Lloyd, Lewis, Marge, Mariah, Mary, Marianne, Melissa, Michael, Mike K, Mike M, Mike W, Merle, Nancy, Natalie, Nathan, Nicole, Paula, Pauline, Pete, Pastor Richard, Ricky, Rosaire, Rose, Father Roy, Ruth, Sally, Sandy, Sarah, Sharon N, Sharon W, Scott, Sean, Stacy, Stanley, Suzanne, Tanya, Tia, Timothy, Tina, William, and Zach. We pray also for the leaders, or we pray also for the, the repose of those who have died, especially the newly departed who have been commended to us and to our prayers. We pray especially for the repose of the servants of God, our brothers and sisters, Tom Barnick, Georgina Carson, Bill Davis, Nancy Gilligan, Rick Hilton, Marion Miller, Jack Pistula, Dave Roberts, William Tome, Bill, Bruce, Chris, Larry, Marty, Miles, and Roberta. We pray also for the leaders of our nation as we celebrate our Independence Day. We pray for our President, Joseph, our Vice President, Kamala. We pray for the members of Congress, the Senate, and the House of Representatives. for the justices of the Supreme Court. For the governor of this Commonwealth, Thomas, and for all of the governors of all of the states of our union. For George Mayor of Wilkesbury and all local leaders across our country. We pray for those who serve our country in our military. We pray for those who serve our people as first responders, firefighters, paramedics, CMTs, medevac flight crews.
for those who enforce the laws of our land, for those who seek to protect and serve, for our frontline medical heroes and all who were instruments of healing and peace, We pray for those who are the advocates for the most vulnerable among us, the least and the lowest, especially as we remember that even as we celebrate our Independence Day, there continues the struggle for independence and equality in our world and in our country. We pray that God would bring us to that day where we are indeed all free and all equal and all can see the image of God in the face of all of our neighbors. To thee, O God, we give up the burdens of this day, trusting your love and mercy. To thee, O God, we surrender ourselves, trusting our risen Lord to lead us always in the way of peace, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. We complete our prayers with the general thanksgiving we pray together the general thanksgiving almighty god father of all mercies we thine unworthy servants to give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men we bless thee for our creation preservation and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory world without end. Amen. Almighty God, you who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, friends, for joining us for evening prayer this night, this Sunday evening. We will be live tomorrow morning at 8.30, and we will pray morning prayer at that hour we will also do that tuesday the rest of the week wednesday through saturday at 8 30 instead of morning prayer we will continue our continuous reading of the gospel of luke tomorrow evening 
at 6.30, I will be live, and we will pray evening prayer. And we will pray evening prayer nightly through Friday evening. Yes, I know it's Sunday evening, so next Sunday is a week off, but it always comes fast. So let me remind you, especially since last week, since next weekend, the 10th and 11th of July is one of those exception weekends. Let me remind you that next Sunday, the Sunday Mass on Saturday at 5 o'clock will be at St. Stephen's Pro Cathedral in downtown Wilkesbury. And the Sunday Mass on Sunday morning at 9.30 will be at the Church of the Holy Cross in the north end of Wilkesbury. Thank you for joining us and praying with us. Blessings to you all. And I look forward to praying with you again soon.